Hey guys, so recently I did some podcast interviews and when they were ready, I shared some graphics on Instagram like this and like this. When I did that, I got a ton of messages from you guys asking how you can create these for your podcast. So that is what I'm going to show you in today's video. And good news, it's very easy to do and completely free. So you may have noticed that the title of this video is how to create a moving graphic for your podcast. That is because I had no idea what these things were actually called. Turns out they're called audiograms or waveforms, but you know, moving graphic works too. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if that is something that you could use some help with, definitely hit subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's get into how you can create a professional moving graphic for your podcast and drive more listeners your way. So the tool that we're going to use for this is called Headliner. You can find it at headliner.app. So you're just going to click get started now, and then you need to sign up for an account and answer a few quick questions. After you've done that, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, here is the pricing breakdown. So on the free plan, I love that you can get 10 videos per month without a watermark. You can also get unlimited watermark videos, but generally I find it really annoying to have a watermark. So you could upgrade to the pro plan if you need more, which is just $12.95 per month. All right, so this is what it looks like. They do have a bunch of templates that you can start off with, but I am just going to show you creating one from scratch. So you're gonna click on audiogram wizard. So the first thing that you need to do is upload your audio file. So I'm going to grab this amazing test audio podcast that Nathan and I recorded. <laughs> And then if you want to transcribe it, you absolutely can. So turn that on, choose your language and hit next. Great, so from here you can select the clip that you want to use. So if you just drag this bar here on the end and at the beginning, you can select the clip that you want to use for your graphic. Awesome, so once you've done that, hit next and you can choose your aspect ratio. I'm going to go with square for Instagram. And here is where you start to customize the look. So first you can change the wave style. So I'm currently on wave, but as you can see, there are a bunch that you can choose from. So for example, there's the curve, there's the pixelated, but I'm just gonna go with wave. And then you can customize the color. So you can either select from the colors at the bottom there, select from the color wheel, or you can input your hex code. So I'm gonna grab one of my brand colors, and then I'm just going to paste in that hex code here. Next, you can select the position. You can select from top, middle, padded bottom, or bottom. What I also love about this tool is you can add progress animation. So I'm gonna click on that, then I'm gonna turn on the display, change the color to yellow. So this is going to create that tab that lets you know how much longer you have in the video, which I really liked. And next we need to create your podcast graphic. So you might have this already. If you don't, you can go ahead and use my favorite tool ever, which is called Canva. This is totally free and is going to allow you to create a really professional looking graphic for your podcast. So I'm going to go into Canva and I'm just going to select Instagram post. And then I'm going to go ahead and customize this graphic. So Canva gives you some templates you can start off with. So I'm just gonna choose this one to start with, and then I'm going to customize it with my own content. So I'm gonna grab a photo and I'm gonna drag that into the background, move things around a bit, change up the colors, the title. I have a few videos on Canva that I will link to in the comments below, which show you how to use this tool. So this is my final design. It was very easy to make. Then I'm going to hit download and I'm going to download this as a PNG. Awesome. So then I'm going to go back into headliner and click add image and grab that graphic that I just created. I'm going to hit crop and that is going to fill the square. 
Awesome. So it's starting to look really good already. You can make any customizations that you want. So I'm actually going to change this to white and then hit create project. So it's going to take a few minutes to create your project and then this is what it looks like. So here is where you can make any last minute edits. So for example, if you want, you can actually display the transcript at the bottom. So you'll see that you have a lot of different options for how the text is going to look and if you want it animated as well. Then over here on the left, you can edit any of the text issues. Um, it's likely that they'll get it wrong on default. So just go through and make sure that all of the words are correct. And then there you go. So this is what it looks like with the transcript on. If you want, you can go ahead and turn that off. Great. So once you are happy with that, you're going to hit export and then export my video. This is going to generate your video file. Okay. Awesome. Then it looks like this and you're just going to hit download and open that up. So here is the final graphic that we created. I loved how simple and easy this was. If you loved it too, let me know in the comments below. So Nate, this is us if we were to have a podcast. How do you feel about that? So yeah, this is what our final podcast graphic looks like. So you can go ahead, customize yours, make it look however you want and get more listeners to your podcast. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it super helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.